So this is a follow-up video uh, about my 2007 Honda Civic. Um, I parked it because it was giving me some horrible problems. And I, I used my uh, OBD2 uh, tester on it. And this is the result that I got. Oh, wrong way. Anyway. Cylinder tube misfire. So the P0302 is telling me the cylinder tube misfire. And then the P0420 O2 sensor and catalytic converter. So I did a little research and I figured out that a misfire, right, on a cylinder will put uh, through the exhaust uh, unburned oxygen or air and fuel mixture so that goes into the exhaust which will affect the o2 sensor and the catalytic converter right so my p0302 problem will cause the p0420 problem from what i understand so i went to o'reilly's i bought my part this one's the import direct that's the part number. Um, so let me pull it out of the box and show you what it looks like. And I also had to do a little research and figure out exactly which uh, which one of those. Uh, and that's what it looks like. This part right here. So like say that's the spark plug. It fits down over the top of the spark plug like that. So that's ignition coil. It's got one little thing that holds it on and then that's the plug that goes to the uh, electrical computer and all that stuff so inside here is a coil and it, you know it sends the spark down here what happens on a lot of vehicles and uh, has happened on this one a couple of times already is over time this thing because it's part of the engine right it heats up it cools down it heats up cools down based on engine use and the weather well what we've had recently is um we went down to negative 70 uh, negative seven degrees fahrenheit when we had our our snow and ice storm um so driving the car the car engine who knows how hot the car engine gets and who who knows how hot these things get so from being however hot the engine gets when it runs to negative seven Fahrenheit, right? We end up with little hairline cracks in this thing. And when you end up with a little hairline, hairline crack, the spark will fly out that hairline crack, boom, and hit the middle of the engine instead of coming down here to the bottom and going to the spark plug. And you end up with a misfire. So I'm going to see if I can replace this real quick and see if it solves my problem. But before I do, I'm going to start the car. I'm going to let you listen to it. Notice my engine light is on. And it was rough starting. I give it a little gas. It sounds good. But it's rough. See, there it goes. It's rough. It's missing. And I feel it jerking the car a little bit whenever it does it. Alright, so I'm going to turn it off. And then I'm going to go out there. Let me pop the hood. The hood popper is way down there. Okay. I'm going to pop the hood. And I've got this. I hope it's the right size. Looks like it might be the right size. If it's not, I'll get the right size. And then I want to take my... Oh, before I go, uh, let me show you what this cost. The coil for the coil on plug for the 2007 Honda Civic. It was $56.99 uh, plus sales tax of $5.56, which comes up to a total of $62.55. So, all right, let me go get that hood up. 
Okay, now I'm videoing. I hit the wrong button. Open the hood and looking from the front of the car. My, re my research says cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three, cylinder four. The firing order, of course, is who knows what. But I just needed to, to find the physical location of cylinder two. And of course, this thing, not the right size. So I need to go get the right size. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's actually the number 10 uh, size uh, little wrench. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of pop that loose. Hmm. Hang on. Let me get a better grip on that. There we go. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Off I say. There we go. Okay. All right, so I loosen that up. Pull this out. Actually, it's just a little nub. Put that there. And then here, you can just... Let me get my fingers out of the way. Sorry about that. But anyway, you can just push down on that right there. And then give it a pull. And it takes that off. Set that over there. So go ahead and just give it... Pull it out. Come on. Out, out, out. There we go. And... Looks a little oily. Huh. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm not sure if that's normal. There's little spots there. Not really sure. It could be part of the manufacturing, but anyway, there. There's a little bit of oiliness down in there. Now, I don't know if that oiliness has anything to do with it. Could be having a head gasket problem. Uh, who knows? I don't know if that'll cause uh, a uh, misfire or not. All right, so that's my old one. get my new one in there here oh yeah okay I see those dots yeah that is a manufacturing thing okay yeah I didn't notice those dots a little while ago but anyway I'm just going to go ahead and throw this on there there's a pinch of oil down in there <clears throat> I did notice there was uh, oh down in here there's some oiliness down in there so I'm gonna have to check this car for uh, an oil leak. So let me go ahead and put this on. So replacing these things is actually fairly simple. You just kind of get them on there, give them a give them a push until they draw all the way down on it, and it, it doesn't have to align any true specific way. Just you know to line up this and the connector here so I'm gonna go ahead and through make sure that that snaps into place so it holds it didn't then come undone and then put your little nut thing back on so I can tell number one had been replaced I'm pretty sure number three had been replaced, but you can see the colors. So these two are the newer ones than that. So I've had a similar problem before. All right, get that tightened up. And I'll go ahead and just go ahead and do this. Don't want to strip it, just give it a good little nudge to tighten it up because you don't want it to loosen up. So just make sure all these are tight, plenty tight, just to make sure. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this right here so it doesn't fall off when I start the engine. 
I'm gonna get in there and start it up. All right, let's start this thing. Not really sure. I do still feel a little boom boom here or there. Yeah, the engine's still acting up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull number three because my research on the, the cylinder placement <laughs> may not be accurate. It said, one guy said from the front to the back is one, two, three, four. I don't know what he means by front to the back. Maybe considering the front being the the side that has the the, the, the serpentine belt on it or whatever. Let me Yeah, kinda Still let me turn it off. And then back on again. Okay, what I'm going to do, because on one place, uh, they said this is cylinder one, two, three, four. Another guy said from the front of the engine back. And, uh, a lot of people consider the side with the serpentine belt being the front of the engine. So that guy says it's one, two, three, four. Uh, so what I'm going to do. I just loosened that nut. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this one out. Put that there. Disconnect it. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull that one out. Give it a good pull. There is a little bit of oil down in there too. Huh. I don't know. Then I'm gonna pop this, oop, yeah. And then I'm gonna pop this one in. This is the one that came out of that spot. So right there is my new one. This is the one that came out of that spot. So I'm gonna move it over here. And I'm gonna hook him up here. And I'm gonna see how this works. All right, let me tighten that down and then go start it. All right, I tightened that down. Now I'm gonna start the car and see how it acts. Ooh. That was a much smoother start. I like that. Could y'all see the difference? Could you hear the difference? I don't have that boom, boom. I don't have that boom 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 and it seemed to be a much smoother start oh okay wonderful seems to be much smoother now turn it off turn it on a few times So turning it off and back on a few times, the computer will read or reread all the signals and eventually reset and turn that engine light off. 
if it doesn't sense any kind of uh, problems it's starting smoother and it seems to be doing smoother and it's just yeah okay Yeah, definitely. Okay, so I had my cylinder location. <laughs> I, I guess I'd gotten a little misinformation. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Just when I, I've learned that whenever I go searching on the internet, I don't always get accurate info. You know, one guy may be describing it, and the words coming out of his mouth may not actually match what he's thinking in his brain. I've noticed that a lot. Um, I do that myself sometimes. All right, let me try one more time. Okay. I'm not sure, but I think I may have fixed my problem. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off and hook up my OBD2 tester which is this thing and I can use my OBD2 tester to actually reset my uh, my stuff hang on just a second okay so in this car let me show you down there right here at my my knee where the gas pedal is right up under here kind of like right see where my fingers are going like right, at, right up in there um, with the, the thing in this direction. Sometimes it takes a little... Oh, there we go. Sometimes it just takes a little finagling to get it on there just right. There it goes. All right, it's on there. So... I'm going to set this here. You can see, see it. I'm going to turn the car on. I'm not going to turn the engine on. I'm just going to turn the key to where it turns everything on. And it's reading uh, right here where it says erase. All right, so it said it's still giving me what I had. So I'm going to I'm going to hit the little erase thing. I'm going to hold it down. And I'm going to let it go. All right, erase. All right, I'm gonna turn the car on. I'm gonna press erase. Come on, erase. Erase. <laughs> All right, hang on. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to make this thing erase. All right, so I did press this, and it's asking erase. So I told it to erase, and it sent the info. I just wouldn't hold my finger right on it, is what the problem was. All right, so it erased. Now it's doing read. Okay, I don't think it really erased it. Hmm. Let me try that again. Okay, erase, erase. Sent. All right. I'm gonna turn the car off. All right. Let me erase this. Erase. Erase. Sent. Read. Zero. Okay. Now it says zero. Okay. Let me start the car again. Engine lights still on. It does start more, much more smoother. Turn the engine light off. Hmm. No information. Uh, oh. All right. So let me turn it off and back on again.
are you working properly? Oh, there it goes. Ha. Huh. I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on again. Is it reading? Read. <laughs> Alright, is there something else I need to do? DTC codes. There's nothing. Ink, ABS. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. The engine light's still on though. But it's definitely doing much, much better. Hmm. Okay. How do I get this thing to read again? But it did say there were zero problems, even though my engine light was on. But let me, uh, let me do that. Okay. And try again. Well, the engine sometimes, I mean, the car sometimes keeps that engine light on, and it just requires just so many starts and stops before it clears out the engine light. But this thing's not giving me any kind of indication there's a problem now. Let me... All right, I'm gonna disconnect it and reconnect it. All right, so it's off. Let me reconnect it. All right, now it's saying read. <laughs> okay, but it's down to 201. Oh, so now it's down to 2 versus 3. P0420. P0302. It seems to be running so much smoother now. So I'm going to have to take it for a test drive and see. Oh, I'm not going to drive it very far. I'm not actually I'm not going to leave my driveway. I'm just going to go down to the end of the driveway and come back. And see how it works. All right, taking it for a test drive. It, it it really seems to be. It's got more, like just backing up. It seems like it's got more power. Seems like it's got. Um, like it's not doing that boom boom. Um, let me get backed up here properly. It's not doing that boom boom sound or feel. It seems to be running pretty smooth. Of course, I got the heater on. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take it down into the driveway and back. Look at my driveway. Won't be long till we're working on that green truck out there. We got three Dodge Rams sitting here that really need some work done to them. Um, I think my research on the Dodge Rams will really, really help me. Um, you know, to be able to get all that done. Ooh, look at there. My driveway, my driveway. Car, I think the car's doing really well. Definitely, definitely operating different than it was. Alright, I'm going to get myself stuck in a hole here. Alright, get it. It's got power. I'm spinning out. <laughs> okay, definitely doing a lot better than it was. It's got power. It doesn't feel like it's missing. Even though the computer hadn't figured it out yet. 
So I know it's working better. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I think I can take it for a spin on the road. I think I'll do that. All right. Well, um, let me get my OBD2 thing back up. Still says 302. That's okay. That's okay. Because I'm going to do the e race. Do the e race. E race. Okay, erase. There we go. It was sent. I don't know if I have to have the key on for it to to go. All right, right now it says zero. Let me, let me turn my key on. Start the car. The engine is running much, 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 much more smooth. Turn that fan off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up giving it a good test drive and then come back and let you know what I find. Car's going good. It's got power going down the road. It's got plenty of power. Let me slow down. I don't want to slip around this corner here. car it's got so much more power it's not it's not hesitating it's not giving me any kind of issues so I think I may have fixed my problem uh, oh all right make a left hand turn and go up to the church oh yeah the car is doing so much so much better I'm gonna go up to this church and turn around little Baptist church right here. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Car seems to be doing great. Great, 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 great. Look both ways, make sure nothing's coming. All right. That engine light will eventually go off. I don't feel this, when I when I'm, I give it a I accelerate. I don't feel that boom 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 weird kind of like hesitation and back weirdness. Um, it uh, it seems to be smooth when I let it just when I let up off the gas and just let it kind of got, kind of move down the road without me forcing it. Uh, where before it, it had kind of a like there I let off the gas. It seems smooth. It's not. It's not giving any kind of weirdness. You know where a lot of times when you have a misfire or a cylinder not firing properly, and it's putting fuel and air mixture down the exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe's hot, so it may ignite in the exhaust pipe, which is a backfire. Right? Kaboom! You hear that? Boom! 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 So. It seems like it's working okay. All right, I'm back at the house. Pulling in the driveway. Back at the house. Pulling in the driveway. All right. I think I got it. I think I fixed it. I'm just waiting for that engine light to go out. Waiting for the computer to figure it out. Woo. Spun out in the gravel. If I, have a, if I had a paved driveway, I could, I could burn out coming all the way up that driveway. All right, I'm gonna park back up here where I was. All right. 
I think I did it, guys. Uh, I think I fixed it. Let me get that. Where'd that tester go? Oh, I got it over here. Yeah, it takes time for the computer to figure things out. Um, but that's okay. Seems to be doing good. I forget how many starts and stops it'll take to uh, for the computer to you know to realize that it's gone, but I'm gonna keep at it. Seems to be doing great. Of course, my A1235 is just telling me I need service. And I generally work in my cars myself, so I don't always reset this. I probably should. I, I, I'm i due for an oil change. I need to add some brake fluid. I uh, need to check my coolant and my radiator, my coolant and all that. Windshield wiper fluid, the whole deal. <laughs> so I need to do all that, and then I'll reset this. How many miles does my car have on it? 322,871 miles on this Honda Civic right now. Okay, well, I'm not going to keep on with this video. I'm pretty sure I fixed my problem. The car is working much better than it was. Um, I'm going to do a little more research on the actual placement or where cylinders one two three and four are but i'm pretty sure it started from the left which is where the serpentine belt is which a lot of people consider to be the front of the engine so one guy said from the front of the engine count one two three four it didn't work on the third one from the front so i did the second one from the front and it really really helped really helped all right, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I sat here for a few more minutes, and I don't know if you can see it back here. Let me change my view. Okay. I messed around uh, between this OBD2 tester and my car, turning it on and off a few times. Sent the, the erase, or uh, clear, whatever you call it, the erase, where it erases the codes. And it took three times. My engine light's gone. It's not there anymore. And now this says zero DTC. These things are flashing. So I'm going to look into those, see what those mean. Probably little odds and ends hanging in there. It is yellow. And it could be because those little flashy things there. Um, but anyway, the good news is my engine light's out. I'll turn the car off. Pull the key. Put it back in. Starting up smoothly. Engine light is out. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Alright. Well, I'll do a follow-up video sometime. Uh, just let y'all know how it, how it works after a few days of driving it, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But for now, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for helping me to figure some things out on my cars. And uh, always make a comment. Always let me know what you think and what you what your experiences are with working on your cars, because I'm not a mechanic. 
I don't claim to be. All I claim to do is show you my experiences, what I'm doing, and the outcome from it. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be putting out a bunch more videos because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I've got thirteen cars that need things worked on. Thirteen different cars. And I'm going to be doing videos on every one of them. Talk to you later.